Hey everybody, welcome back. Thought I lost you for a minute. No, my battery went dead. Had to charge it up for a little bit. But, oh, <clears throat> okay, where was I? Now this was my other idea. You know, I'd have to make a top and a bottom. And, uh, you know, just kind of let them fall out. But I can see this kind of getting jammed up and kind of hard to load. I think my magnet idea will work. And my little wheels. But I'd have, just have to have a wheel at both ends sticking up about a half inch, just a little wheel. And as it rotated and it hit the wheel on both sides, it'll knock it loose. And, uh, you know, I, then all I've got to do is put a screw in, you know, pretty much anything. And as long as it'll fit on my wheels, then I can rotate them and drop them off. That's a pretty big compartment. Uh, this is going to be fun. I can't wait. There's eight in each compartment. That's 16 bombs. And a cruise missile that B-1B man made us. Yeah, he's had that cruise missile done for a long time. I mean, it's a crash looking for a spot, but what was a cruise missile? <laughs> and he made that a phone when they was dropping it off of Sequoia. You guys can look it up under B-Man, B-Man, a uh, B-1B man's movies. It's just, uh, he's got a bunch of videos on YouTube. You can see our little cruise missile he made up for us. It's an electric ducted fan that pops out and the wings pop out and everything. Then it pretty much crashes. <laughs> but what the hey, it'll be fun. Uh, that's about all I got. Oh, we had a guy ask us if we had uh, oleos and shocks on these main gear. And yeah, we do. And they're actually a little soft. We had a hard time finding springs. We got about the heaviest good size spring we can find in there. And they're a little too soft. So what we're going to do is uh, put a smaller spring. This is a little too short. But put a smaller spring on the inside of the bigger spring. And uh, that will give us a little more. Because right now it uh, squats them about halfway down. But oh yeah, that did them rough right. And I weighed this fuselage, and I had the gear in it, weighed right at 100 pounds. Then we pretty much, we weighed one of my wings, and a, one of them plugs weighs about as much as a finished wing. And it all came out to about, uh, taking off with fuel, about 220 pounds. The plane's going to end up weighing about 180, but that's still nothing for the wing loading on this thing. It's like 50 ounces per square inch something like that but it's nothing it's like a sailplane and uh, it's gonna fly good I can't wait and I know all you guys out there can't wait either and uh, oh one more thing a guy in RC Universe asked this morning why I didn't put all these bulkheads in the plug well I had my mold apart and if, number one I didn't have them cut out yet and uh but really the main reason is we couldn't get inside to tape it all together if we did that. See, we was able to do this one and then go from both ways. And uh, it just was better off doing it like this. Then I could go in and build my structure like I did and and uh, get it all glued in there really good. This was just, you know, with that peel ply, I got a really good surface to glue, glue to. And you glue stuff to that, man, and it sticks. You ain't got to sand it. Just... Make sure it's clean. And uh, that's about all I got right now, folks. But I'm going to keep plugging away. I'm going to get me some plywood ordered for that. And I'm going to get this Bombay all done. And that way, when we flip it back over, we'll be able to test it and uh, make sure them bombs drop. I mean, my cardboard tubes. And uh, that's all we're going to drop with this, people cardboard tubes. Let's not hear no talk about nothing going bang. <laughs> I might put a piece of chalk at the at the tips of my bombs. That way, if we can see where they land, and you know, and uh, well, that's about as technical as we're gonna get on the on that, folks. We just wanna have some fun with this thing. So I'm gonna try and put you guys out a Christmas movie for next week. But until then, I'm going to keep plugging away at the shop. i got some Christmas shopping to do. i got to get this pigsty cleaned up. Look at this. I've been busy, man. You can tell when I've been busy. 
want to show off some mess. <laughs> We've been going after it, and I'm going to make y'all a Christmas video. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. And, uh, hey, we're also coming up on our one-year anniversary. We might have to have a little party going. And guess what it is? It's about New Year's Day. So, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about maybe doing a little something. And thank you, everybody, for watching us. We'll see you back at the shop.